When we first log in, make sure you do colon colon referral and then type in RuneScape OG to go ahead and get yourself a juicy starter kit set up by me. On top of that, guys, I'm doing a crazy giveaway. All you're gonna have to do is smash the like button, comment your name, and subscribe to my channel, and let's get right into it. A couple days ago, I made a video on Saren PS, the top semi-custom RSPS that is currently trending, and you guys absolutely loved it. There were so many brand new players that hopped on to Saren PS, which is linked down below, and so I decided to go ahead and make a starter guide for all of you brand new players. That being said, let's get right Right into it all right so here i am i've just made a brand new account and when you first log in you're gonna go ahead and want to click continue it's gonna basically show you a bit of a tour around the server now this is extremely useful because especially if you're a brand new player you're gonna want to know where everything is kind of located it's gonna show you all the mini games that they offer all the shops and at the very end it's gonna bring you to this interface now this is one of my favorite interfaces because it has pretty much everything the normal mode group iron man hardcore iron man ultimate iron man and normal iron man now for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and actually pick normal, but what's really cool about all this is that it actually gives you a nice little description of the mode, and it's actually going to show you what your starter kit's going to be. So in this case, if you're a group Iron Man, you're going to start off with this gear. Now we just went through with the normal mode. Now once you actually do that, it's going to ask you what experience rate you want to play with, the normal, extreme, classic, or elite. Now what's really cool about that is that, for example, the normal, you're going to get 30x XP rate and 125x combat XP, while if you pick something like the elite, your XP rate is going to be slower like times two but the benefit that you're going to get here is that you're going to get an increased drop rate bonus so again it's very very cool i'm going to pick the normal here as well and now you got your account you can characterize your character with whatever you want to wear and we can get right into it now when you first log on i always recommend trying to build a cash stack because at least then you can go ahead and start to get your supplies from the supply stores maybe if you want some melee gear you can do that as well and what's really convenient is that they actually have the stalls right next to the bank so you can either go ahead and bank the items that you get or sell them to six when the merchant the xp rate is also very good like in less than one inventory i was able to progress onto the second stall already the food stall now we're going to go ahead and actually sell our items so of course you can actually go ahead and see it does heal you five which is a really cool feature that they offer but let's go ahead and sell all of our cakes all right so again not too bad the end of all of our cakes being sold in our two cups we get 60k now I'd recommend you do this a couple more times and then once you're actually done that, make your way onto the opposite side and this is where you're going to get some supplies. So I'd recommend going ahead to the combat supply store, now you can get your combat supplies as in melee gear, range gear, mage gear and your consumables. Now there are two ways you can go about this, you can try and go ahead and train your melee or if you're looking for the cheaper route, I think a range is the way to go. So I'm going to actually go ahead and get some supplies now, it is kind of expensive here like 6k for red D high chaps. So you got to really consume, but we're going to go ahead and buy a set here, get some, you know, the bow, the magic bow. All right, so I got my stuff here, I banked it, and now it's really time to go ahead and train. So I'm going to pick up all my starter items, like my capes, my arrows, and my bow, as well as my melee gear. And now it's time to go to two options. The first one is you go to this crystal singing recipe, you click on it, and your teleports are all going to show up. So any kind of monster or NPC telly, including your minigame teleports, all your bosses, your skilling teleports, wilderness teleports, and your city teleports are all going to be located here. Now the second option that you have is actually doing colon colon train and what that's going to do is it's actually going to teleport you on its own to the rock crab area. And this is where the real grind begins. You're going to want to train to at least level 40 in all of your attack styles. So your attack, melee, strength, you know, defense, range, mage, all those you want to get to at least 40 because you are going to really go to the next money making method which is going to be skilling right after you know trying to get the proper combat stats because right here as you guys can see in the shop you can't actually buy a magic bow or any of the top tier gear you actually have to grind for them and that means you either go skilling for them or you go and try and get some combat uh, levels and you start attacking NPCs for them. So by going ahead and getting yourself a decent starting combat level, that will allow you to go ahead and begin attacking those medium level monsters. All right, just did a quick location swap here. We are now at Cows. Now what I really love about Serum PS is that if you right click any NPC and you click on examine, automatically it's gonna show you their drop table, the rarity, the amount, the name, and an image of the drop here, which is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and finish up getting 40 in my attack strength and defense and we'll be right back all right so we just got 44 attack 43 strength and 42 defense now it's time to go back and uh train some range here so we're gonna go ahead and get 40 on my range and then i'll be back as well 
All right, just went ahead and got myself 44 range. Now it's time to actually begin skilling because right now we really have two options, like I said earlier. And one of those options is to go skilling. So here I am, I just got grabbed my cash tag and I'm gonna go ahead and get myself some rune axes, some pickaxes, basically a bunch of supplies here to get myself started. All right, for now, this is what I got. I couldn't really afford a uh, rune pickaxe. So I just got an admin one for now. And the wood cutting grind has begun. Now the goal here is to get some wood cutting levels so we can fletch ourselves eventually a magic bow now in this starter guide i'm not going to go all the way to a magic bow but i'm just showing you guys what you guys should do in this case so i'd recommend you guys go ahead and begin your wood cutting grind really get some fletching going not only are you able to profit off of you know anything that you want to sell to the store like any of your bows but eventually you can actually elk them and get your magic level up while profiting as well now what's also really cool is that there's a chance of you going ahead and getting some blood money like I have just got. Now blood money is good because it can be used to purchase items from the blood money store and it's very convenient. You can get it basically from skilling which is really really nice. Now this is where things get really really fun. So you completed everything, you got your gear, you got your stats, now it's time to grind. They have a ton of bosses on Saren PS, loads for you to choose from. One of my favorite to be honest has to be by far Nightmare which they actually have. They also have Sporia, they have Giant Mole and so many others. But we are going to go ahead and try and do ourselves a quick Nightmare run. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Again it looks very very nice. The server, guys, this RSPS has to be the top semi-custom server. It is so nice. The gear I currently have, by the way, guys, is the Elite Bando set. The bonuses on this are actually quite good. But we're going to get a kill on, on uh, Nightmare right now. And uh, hopefully, you'll see you guys when we're done. All right. So as you guys can see, we are getting some decent hits. Of course, Nightmare does have quite high HP here. But I'm currently using the Whip, the Imbissal Whip, the Blood Whip. Now, of course... You can use the scythe on this boss, but I'd recommend using the whip. I think I hit a lot more on it. But as you guys can tell, we are grinding out on Nightmare. The loot that I can get from Nightmare is quite insane here. I am in combat, so it's not going to show it. But it's quite good, to be honest. You also get a key, and from that key, you open the chest way back there, and you can get some good loot out of that as well. So, again, hopefully we get some good items. That'd be really exciting. But let's finish off Nightmare real quickly, and I'll be back. Whoops, so I actually ended up dying to Nightmare Boss, which is very, very sad. All right, so I went here in my bank and I grabbed myself a bunch of Nightmare Keys. We're going to be opening them up and seeing what we get out of the Nightmare Chest. And as you guys can tell, I'm going to quickly spam click it. So we did get some supplies. We got a nice Donator token, some Mystery Boxes, the Dragon Plate Body. Lots of resources that, that we've achieved out of this, to be honest. All right, going to spam click this again as well. We got a Larynx key, and this showed me the drops, which is really, really nice. I really love that. But if we skip them, click it some more, some more mystery boxes, and overall some more supplies. We also got some death touch darts, which is really cool because I think now I'll be able to kind of one hit the boss or basically give him a lot of damage. Look at the damage, guys, that we are doing to this nightmare boss. Of course, there you go. He is now dead, and we are going to get our one nightmare key. Let's open that one up, and we got 100 rainers and 10 purple sweets. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. Make sure you guys go ahead and enter the giveaway. Smash the like button, comment your name, and subscribe to my channel. Join Saren PS down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.